is a modified wood. It's a softwood, a very fast grown softwood called a radiata pine. Um, and what essentially they do is they pickle it. It takes about 20 years to grow. Uh, they fell the trees down, they harvest them, they kiln them to take all the moisture out. The pickling process alters the cells of the wood. It limits the wood ability to be able to absorb moisture. If it doesn't absorb moisture or lose moisture, then it won't swell or shrink. Um, and the fungal aspect of the timber is hugely reduced and it, it won't rot. So this creates a super stable wood. Um, you, you effectively have modified the, the timber at a cellular level. Decking, cladding, um, the there's just some, some basic things, um, but because of its durability, I mean, they're, they're putting research into it at the coir at the moment to see if they can build boats out of it, um, to see if it can be used for pontoons and garden furniture. It would be a really good timber for that. Um, there's an argument to say you could leave your garden furniture out all, all winter without knowing it would be fine, provided it's got the right sort of you know, the, the paint on it is all maintained. Because it's got such incredible properties in that it doesn't shrink, it doesn't, doesn't swell, it doesn't rot, it doesn't move, um, I don't think there's any, I don't think we've really discovered the scratch of surface yet of what it can be used for. It machines really easily, it holds an edge, it doesn't dull your blades, um, and it's, its stability, I suppose, just, just creates something that as a joiner you would be, you'd be delighted to work with this, you could create anything. Um, yeah, it, it, some of the timbers have their own little characteristics that can make them a little bit of a nuisance sometimes. Um, whereas this seems to be, from our experience of it, but yeah, really lovely to work, work with. Um, some of the guys have even commented that they, they find the uh, vinegary smell quite quite pleasant when they're working with it. So it's like working with fish and chips. Radiata pine, um, it's, it's grown in New Zealand. Um, the trees are harvested after about 20 years, which is super fast. Um, so radiata pine is a fast growing tree. Because the timber is so durable, what it allows is it allows the timber to store the carbon that it's captured when it was growing as a tree. Um, so it stores the carbon in there because it doesn't, um, because of the lifespan of the wood, it doesn't break down and release the carbon, it doesn't get burnt and release the carbon. So it's, it's a really, really good way of, of um, storing carbon and being sustainable. If you compare this tree to something like um, European oak, um, European oak you know, doesn't even begin to reach maturity until it's at least 50 years old. So by the time you're looking to, to harvest oak trees um, sustainably, um, they're, they're going to be 100, 150 years old. Um, so this is obviously much, uh, much more sustainable in that respect as well. Yes, it's more expensive. Um, it's quite a bit more expensive at the moment, if I'm honest. Put some numbers to it, it's about, it's about twice the price of steel. With, with finishing the wood, the finishing process is easier and more stable. You don't have to go back to the job because the timber isn't going to warp. So um, the longevity of the product um, is much easier with a coir. Um, you don't have to go back. So as a joiner, you wouldn't go back and do as much snagging, for example. It's quite extravagant to use it for cladding at the moment because uh, wood cladding is expensive as it stands, but um, the coir cladding would be would be really quite quite a tasty sort of price tag on that one. Correct. We've um, we've been approved as an accredited coir supplier. Um, that involves a factory trip, so we understand a bit more about how the timber is produced. Um, we also understand the treatment of the timber, so we can advise on how you look after it, what you should be painting it with, um, and we can machine it to the right sort of size to suit your project. Um, so yeah, and we like machining it because it's the fish and chips work.